Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can create a custom playlist of videos and then display uh, that uh, playlist on a SharePoint page. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, so uh, look, uh, on this site, uh, within this library, I have a bunch of different videos, you know, a bunch of different MP4 files, you know, different uh, video files. Now, uh, I want to create a custom playlist. Uh, for example, let's just say I have some training videos, right? And I want to display some training videos to my uh, employees uh, on the site. So how do we do that? Um, look, uh, the relatively new option we now have is the ability to create uh, what's called a playlist. Uh, and essentially, uh, it's a custom list with links to different videos that you want to be part uh, of that uh, playlist. Uh, let me show you how that works. So, I mean, obviously, first of all, I can... Um, you know, uh, embed maybe a single video or maybe all the videos from the folder uh, on a SharePoint page using the stream web part. But again, the task here is I, I want, you know, a custom playlist. Maybe the videos reside in different, um, you know, in different uh, libraries and different folders. So uh, we really need to put something custom together. So let me show you how that works. So for that, I will need to create uh, a custom list. So uh, you navigate to the home page of your site uh, where the videos reside, new list. And uh, this is, of course, the functionality that allows you to create all those different uh, lists, like an issues log or some sort of tracker, uh, you know, contact list and stuff like that. But um, there is a functionality, there is a template available called playlist. Uh, and it allows you to create essentially uh, a custom uh, list of uh, your videos. So let's click on playlist and it uh, gives you a preview of what it would uh, look like. Um, let's use this template. Uh, let's uh, call this training videos, just like that. And click create. And let me show you what will happen. So the list has been created, uh, however, it's empty. Now we need to add videos to it. Now, uh, very important, when I add the videos, um, we're not really attaching videos in here. This is just going to be literally links to the videos re that reside on your site. So when you click Add New Item, uh, now we can browse and essentially uh, pick our videos. You know what? Let's you know add those few, just like that. I'm going to select those. And I also want to add a few more. Uh, remember, uh, they can be in different locations. You see, I can browse to different locations. But in my case, um, it just happens to be, uh, and uh, let's just pick this one, for example, from another folder. So I just wanted to show you the ability you know, to add videos from different uh, locations. Uh, and again, you know, it adds all the videos uh, in here, uh, but this are just links. This are links. The videos still reside in, you know, on whatever site, whatever library or folder they reside in. These are just literally links to the, um, um, you know, uh, to, to the videos. And uh, what we can do here is we can, um, you know, let's maybe fix, you can actually fix, um, you know, the, uh, I guess, uh, the, the, the title and some metadata. Let's fix this one. Uh, let's just, I don't know, call it video one. All right, doesn't really matter. And click save. Okay, just like that. So we can fix some metadata that's uh, been displayed in here. So here it is. And as you can see, when I click on a, a given video within a, uh, within this playlist, uh, the video is played uh, kind of on this uh, big screen over here. Uh, however, um, I'm not done yet. Uh, I really want my users to, you know, uh, to have a nice user experience. And uh, maybe I want to have a dedicated SharePoint page where I will embed this list. And um, um, at the same time, maybe I want to add some description and instructions and stuff like that. So let's do that. I'm going to click home again. Uh, why? Because we are going to create a brand new page. And uh, yeah, let's just create a blank one. And uh, of course, we can change the banner and stuff like that. We're not going to uh, waste time on that. 
And uh, so I'm creating a custom page called um, training videos. And let me do this. Uh, there are actually a few ways to add a playlist uh, to a SharePoint page. Uh, uh, we're going to compare the two. Uh, so let me do this. I'm going to make it two column layout. So let me show you two ways to add a playlist to your SharePoint uh, page. And then I'll tell you uh, which method is uh, my preferred one. So the first option would be uh, to actually utilize the list uh, web part. Why? Because that playlist we created is actually a list. So I'm going to choose this and uh, it gives me all the lists that I have on my site. I remember that training videos one. Here it is, you see. So essentially with this uh, option, we, um, you know, we are displaying uh, this list and whatever views exist on the list. I mean, obviously we want the playlist functionality. And um, yeah, there are a couple of more features here, but what you see is what you get, all right? And essentially when users click on each one of those uh, videos um, in the list, um, the, the video will uh, play in, in this area over here. So that's one of the options. Let me show you another option. Um, the other option involves, of course, the stream web part. Because at the end of the, of the day, even though this, uh, you know, this is a list of videos, at the end of the day, these are videos. And for that, we have a dedicated web part called stream. And um, I just added it and click uh, properties. And this is where we get to select the source. So by default, it always goes for videos on the site, which could be like 300 videos. In our case, um, we want to display a playlist and we can pick and choose. We can actually display a single video, maybe all the videos on the folder, but look at this. We have uh, you know, a designated you know, choice called playlist. And um, what this option does, I mean, essentially it prompts you to select a playlist. And uh, let's see, on my site, I guess I have two of them. Uh, this is the one we just created. And this is what it looks like. All right, this is what it looks like, um, you know, when we use the stream web part. Now, you can obviously see right away the layouts of this a little bit different. You know what, I think I have to, uh, let me see if we can get, uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough real estate. Let me, uh, I think, move this web part uh, to the bottom. Uh, yeah, let me uh, maybe make sure, yeah, we are going to move it in here. So uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you the difference between uh, between the two, uh, the two uh, methods. And let me switch this to one column layout. So let's just do this. All right, so, um, this is the option using the list functionality. Essentially, it just you know displays the list, and whenever you you know or the user or the employee selects the video from uh, the list, it just displays it in this area. And this is the experience for um, that second option. It's a little bit different layout, as you can see. Why? Because we use the stream web part. Uh, now, remember with this option. Oh, we really don't have any choices. I mean, pretty much you just, you know, select the playlist and that's pretty much it. There is no way to alter that look and feel. Let's see if we have some options with stream web part. So I'm going to click edit properties. Yeah, we do have a few options, all right? Because this is a dedicated web part for displaying videos, we can switch from this theater mode, which is uh, essentially this mode right here, one, you know, selected video in this, um, um, you, you, you know, a big rectangle in this big area that we see, and then uh, the smaller videos on the bottom. Or I can switch to a grid view where uh, pretty much uh, it displays them all um, kind of uh, all at once. But the beauty about this is that when you select a given video and want to play it, uh, it, um, you know, creates almost like a, a bit of a pop up in here, you see, so a little bit different experience. Um, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, um, you know, it's up to you which one you choose. And obviously with this option, you, we have a little bit more, um, you know, in terms of, um, you know, uh, configuration settings, we can, uh, uh, um, I guess, alter how many 
uh, roles uh, to display and how many videos to display at once and how to sort them. So this is not something we have with this playlist function available, this list functionality over here. All right, so my preferred option, of course, is option number two. Uh, let me actually uh, publish it now. Let's finally publish uh, the page. And yeah, I mean, you know, I maybe if you're doing training, uh, I think it's kind of nice to see all the videos on the left-hand side and then play them in here. But at the same time, I really like this uh, functionality over here. Uh, uh, you see it's, you know, very um, user-friendly, looks very modern. Uh, you get this little pop-up where uh, you play the video. But on top of that, you, you also have those additional settings where you can... Um, you know, display how many rows, how many videos to display in a row, how to, you know, sort them. So you have a little bit more flexibility. All right. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's up to you and whatever option you prefer. Uh, just wanted to show you these two options. Once again, the first one is using the... Um, uh, so once you create the playlist, you can embed it using the list web part and the second one using the, um, you know, the stream uh, web part, um, which in my opinion is uh, a bit nicer. All right, so uh, that's all I really wanted to share in this particular tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new. Is always happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.